Paul here with PTZ Optics and I am at Micro Center because today we're gonna build a 4K live streaming system. Uh, starting at the PTZ Optics area here in Micro Center, we are going to select two 4K cameras. We are gonna build a 4K live streaming computer here at Micro Center. We'll take a look at some of the pre-built computers they have, but I think to do this right, we're probably gonna need to build a custom PC. And we're gonna do two 4K cameras and a joystick here at PTZ Optics. These 4K live streaming cameras get you know really good resolution. You can do up to 60 frames a second. There's a lot you can do with them. So this is gonna, we're gonna break out the whole budget, but we're gonna be a little over uh, 3,000, about 3,500, 4,000 for two Move 4K cameras and a joystick. We'll, uh, in the comments and, the, and everything below, we'll include all the parts and pieces we're buying. But let's get moving. We're gonna, we're gonna use networking equipment. So we're gonna likely pick up one of these. This is a 10 port gigabit PoE network switch. So this is gonna plug into your router. Now, if you have a router, it's from your internet service provider. It's how you get internet access. If you're bringing this out like mobile or doing uh, live streams somewhere else, then you can purchase a router um, and bring that with you. And this will provide DHCP and all the connectivity that you need uh, with your networking gear. But again, we got two 4K cameras, we got a joystick, and we got a PoE network switch. That puts us in the neighborhood of like $4,000. Now let's take a look at buying a computer that's 4K capable. Now over here, the greatest thing about Micro Center is they help you build custom computers. So they have all the graphics cards, everything you would need for building a live streaming computer. But before we go all the way into building a custom computer, let's take a look at some of the pre-built desktops that they offer. Because I have a feeling we're gonna find one powerful enough for what we're doing. Now, in our last video, we were actually looking over here at some of the budget desktops, okay? They have desktops starting at like $600 that can handle 1080p video for a couple cameras, but if we need to go to 4K video, we really need to have an i9 processor. I know you can do it with an i7, but if we're doing 4K video over NDI with an IP connection, we're definitely going to want an i9. So one of the things I love about Micro Center is there's so many options. We looked at like a $2,500 laptop or desktop. There's a $3,000 one. This one right here really hits a sweet spot for me. This one is $1,600. It's an i9. And the thing about IP video especially, if we're going to be doing 4K video with NDI over an IP connection, the video is already encoded, so it needs to be decoded with a pro computer processor. Depending on the software you're using, such as OBS or vMix, some of that processing can be dumped onto the video card itself. And with this system, not only do we have an i9 processor, but we also have 32 gigabytes of RAM, we have a one terabyte solid state hard drive, and we've got a 4070 NVIDIA graphics card. So to me, this fits the specs for a computer that will work with up to two to four 4K NDI cameras. Now, this computer here can also have some open slots for PCIe cards. So if you decided to have additional HDMI video outputs or inputs, this computer can grow with you. Coming to a micro center, you know, computer specs change all the time. Actually coming in and buying it here is a great idea because they will support you. They'll walk you through all the different details. For example, some of these video outputs, most of these NVIDIA graphics cards in the 4000 series have four video outputs. So if you're a house of worship or you need to have multiple different HDMI outputs for a projector in your space, a computer like this will work for you. So this is gonna help our budget. So 1600 for the computer. Let's add another 200 for two different uh, monitors as well. And then we're at about 2000 for our computer and monitors, 3000, about 3500 for our cameras and 
a joystick, putting us in the neighborhood of a little over 5,000 for a two camera 4K system. Let's add it all up with our um, cabling and our network network uh, networking equipment to get a full total for this two camera 4K live streaming system. All right, so obviously we need to add some networking cables. We're gonna need one for our computer, one for our joystick, two for our cameras, and then one to connect the network switch to the router. I'm assuming you have a router with your internet service provider. If you're doing a mobile setup, you gotta purchase an additional router. So let's add $100 for ethernet cablings and total up our system. All right, so that brings our two camera 4K live streaming system to roughly $6,600. So we've got two 4K move cameras. These are roughly $3,200 We have a joystick controller. We have two camera mounts. We have a PoE network switch. We bought a pretty powerful live streaming computer with an i9 processor and a 4070 NVIDIA graphics card, two monitors, and all the cabling. Uh, and I, did I mention a PoE network switch to plug it all in and all the cables? That's about $3,000 more than our budget 1080p live streaming system. So if you're going with a 4K system, just know it's gonna be about $3,000 more than a 1080p system because you can buy a lower end a computer, the cameras are less expensive, but when you buy 4K, you're future-proofing yourself. 4K allows you to do a lot of interesting things in video production. You can do a lot more with the videos once they're recorded in post-production. They look better. As we all get better access to internet connectivity, streaming in 4K is something that people are starting to expect. Most people have 4K televisions and they're watching things on 4K monitors. So it is a future-proof solution if you wanna pay a little extra and get better quality video overall. Going with this 4K system might be just the right thing for you. Take a look at the notes below where we outline each piece of live streaming equipment here and uh, we'll go into it uh, in more detail in the blog post below. Let us know what you think in the comments. Don't forget to like this video. Take a moment to do that and uh, we'll see you in the next one.